Okay, Jeff Grubb, Games Beat. Oculus is updated its app for the Rift, and it finally enables you to install your data on a different drive. Previously, you had to put everything on the same drive that you had Windows. It wouldn't even give you an option. Everything would just go right in there. Now, during the setup process, you can install it to a different drive. For example, your D drive, which is what I want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to run through the steps to do this if you already have an Oculus Rift installed and you already have your games on your C drive. The bad news is, is that you're going to have to uninstall the Oculus app after backing up your data, manually move your data to the D drive after reinstalling the app on, onto the new drive. So let's get to it. First thing we need to do is to shut down the Oculus app. Once that's finished, we're going to go ahead and hit the start key or open up the start menu, type in run, and in the run window, we're going to find C program files Oculus. You can also find this in Windows Explorer if that's easier for you. Once in here, you're going to want to copy the redistributables folder. Copy that and back it up. I'm just going to back it up to my desktop. I think that's probably the e easiest kind of over here in an empty space. Next, go back to the main Oculus folder. And now we're going to copy the contents of the software folder. So open up software and copy everything except for the store assets folder. Right click, copy, make a new folder on your desktop for software backup and back everything up there. Now go back to the Oculus folder again. And this time we're going to go into manifest and this one's a little bit difficult. So we're going to have to find every single file in here that does not end with assets.json. So that means, right, so basically hold down control and go through and click on anything that doesn't end with assets.json, um, which is most of them. So we're going to be looking at things for like vr.json and there's a whole bunch at the bottom. Right click, copy, and then move those all over into a manifest backup folder on your desktop. Now we're done with the backup process. Now we need to uninstall Oculus software. So let's go to the, the start menu again. Type uninstall Oculus. Select the Oculus app that appears, the one that says uninstall Oculus, and then follow the instructions for this procedure. Once you're uninstalled, go ahead and download the new Oculus app from oculus.com forward slash setup. Uh, I would hesitate using the app that you already the, that you've already downloaded. Just go ahead and download the new one. It's a very small folder, just because you want to make sure you get the option to save this to your D drive instead, or your whatever drive you want to use. Follow the instructions for for installing, and then as you get past the initial first screens, you're going to come to this this screen right here. Just click the button that says choose the different location and you can see it just automatically gave me D drive forward slash Oculus or backslash Oculus, which is what I was going to choose anyhow. So I'm glad that worked out. Now we need to wait for it to finish installing the rest of the app, which takes forever. So I'm going to fast forward. Now we're through with that. We can shut down the Oculus app, open up the Oculus folder, which is going to be on now D drive backslash Oculus for me could be something different from you. Uh, if you need to just go to run D drive Oculus. Now that you have the Oculus folder opened, I moved mine to the left. I have the backup backup folders on the right. I'm going to drag the redistributables folder into the Oculus folder, give any approvals that's necessary, and then go ahead and back up software by put, taking the contents of your backup software folder and moving it inside the software folder inside of Oculus. And do the same thing with Manifest. If the game asks you to overwrite anything, I would suggest go ahead, but this is your call. I'm not sure what happens if you don't. I only did it the one way. Now we're done restoring. So now we can open up the Oculus app. And before we do anything else, we should go up to the gearbox, go down to beta, and go to restart Oculus. This will reboot everything and should kind of make sure everything is detected. Now if you go to library, you should see all your games right there and all your app data should be ready to go and you can pick up where you left off. 
that's going to do it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, you can find out more, including a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do this on gamesbeat.com, uh, where I write all my articles. You can find out more about me there uh, if you need any more help. I'm always on there every day. Um, otherwise, let me know in the comments, and I'll do what I can to help. So thanks for watching, and enjoy your virtual reality now that you have your games on a hard drive instead of a tiny little SSD. I'll catch you next time.